It's homecoming at Madison La Follette on Friday as the 3-3 three three Lancers host the 3-3 three Madison Memorial in a key Big 8 conference matchup on the WisconsinPrepZone.com Game of the Week. The Lancers' defense makes the game's first big play, and it's defensive back Paul Looper who steps in front of a Joe Ferguson pass and returns it all the way to the 17. Running back Jermaine Richmond takes it from there, bursting up the middle for the score and a 7-0 La Follette lead. Memorial's defense comes up with a takeaway here. Troy Tiging lost a pass up for Trevon Amp, and Amp and the Spartans' Gavin Grant fight for it, and Memorial gets possession. Ferguson gets no time in the pocket, though, and he loses 20 yards on this sack to force a punt. Jeremy Gartland back for the punt, but it gets blocked by LaFollette's Justin Woodworth, and the Lancers are set up in great field position. Tigan waits and finds Brett Dobson on the left side to get the Lancers inside the five. They go back to Richmond, and he goes in from four yards out to put La Follette ahead 14-0. The Spartans drive in the second quarter to try to put the first 12 minutes behind them, but the Lancers stuff Ferguson on this third and goal sneak. That sets up fourth and goal, and running back Raekwon Cunningham has no shot against the Lancers' defense, which holds and keeps the Spartans off the scoreboard. Memorial has the ball back later in the second, and Ferguson connects with Jester Wea to the four. Again, LaFollette forces fourth and goal, but this time Ferguson goes to the air and finds Wea to cut the Spartans' deficit to 14 7. So it's Memorial with the momentum, but it doesn't last long. On the ensuing kickoff, LaFollette's Richmond takes the ball just barely off the ground and gets some good blocks. He breaks one tackle and then reverses field, then cuts towards the end zone and breaks one more tackle for an 85 yard score and a 21 7 lead. So it's advantage of LaFollette again, but the Spartans have an answer of their own. Ferguson hits Wea on the slant, and after a great one-handed catch, Wea's off to the races for a 60-yard touchdown to make it 21-14. That's three touchdowns in 73 seconds. In the huddle, Joe was like, you got to beat, beat, beat the DB on the slant. Do whatever you got to do just to get open. And I, I just went out there and just listened to what he had to tell me. It was t up there. I mean, it was a great catch. I just threw it up, and he went and got it. That was extremely huge, you know. <laughs> Jester's done that for us a few different times where, you know, we're in a uh, position where, you know, everybody's kind of looking at that board going, man, this doesn't feel right. And then Jester turns around, gets a fantastic catch. Joe's able to put it out there. So Memorial takes a bit of the momentum into the half and its defense makes a play early in the third. Tigan looks right, but Grant jumps the route for his second pick of the game. On the next play from scrimmage, Ferguson gives to Cunningham on the draw and he makes a nice cutback to find daylight all the way to the end zone. It's a 62-yard score to make it a new ball game, 21-21. LaFollette comes back with a drive in the Memorial Territory, but the Spartans' Aswan Thompson strips running back Derek Horn and Darnell Richmond recovers and gets the Spartans a good start downfield. Memorial can't get much going offensively there, but Gartland gets away a nice punt despite a short hop on the snap, and the Spartans down it at the three. The Lancers go three and out from there and have to punt from their end zone early in the fourth. Therese Fountain takes it on a bounce and slips through some tackles to get Memorial inside the LaFollette 20. Gartland comes on for a 30-yard field goal try and he nails it, making it 17 straight Memorial points for a 24-21 lead. I'm just, I'm so proud of my team because really we did, we did have, we were having troubles with field goals and extra points in the beginning of the year with uh, we just, we weren't making them, they were getting blocked, and uh, I'm just, I'm so happy that everything came together. The foul gets the ball back with under three minutes to play, but loses yards and time when the snap goes over Tigan's head, and he has to retreat and fall on the ball. Fourth down for the Lancers, and Tigan is going to throw deep over the middle for Antoine Rolex, who gets his hand on the ball in double coverage, but can't pull it down. A few kneel downs later, Memorial has a 24-21 victory over La Follette, despite the Lancers' big first half plays. I mean, there were some guys that were down, but, you know, as a captain, I was, cheering, I was telling everybody to get pumped and just go out there and give it all. You set your goals up, and everybody's got, uh, what is it, all city here in Madison, and then after that, they look at make playoffs. After that, they look at conference. Well, we didn't get conference, but you know what? Let's go ahead and keep going with playoffs. We're fine there. 
everyone puts their heart and energy into this game and everyone gets emotional with this. Um, it wouldn't be such an enjoyable sport if we didn't have an investing interest in it. Uh, but hats off to Coach Galindo and the, the Memorial Spartans. They, they played a very sound uh, game and uh, you know, I, I wish we could go back and change some of our penalties that we gave to uh, to advance some of their their motions there. Oh my gosh, this is like this is huge. This game means it all. Like just with the rivalry that we have, and them, and then holding us off from the playoffs last year, and us being able to come here and stopping them, and us having the opportunity to go to the playoffs, it, it feels great.